So welcome everyone. The theme for this afternoon is, is a bit more on creativity. So without being too all encompassing, I think there is like a creative element in pretty well everything if you dig. And, uh, and it's good to keep that as a, uh, uh, as, as some, something to be aware of. This is kind of where I'm coming from, right? The, you know, different times I've had different focuses. Some things changed a lot, but some not so much as I might have thought. In each lurked an element of creativity. And I thought I'd just put up this slide of this stuff because there's certainly some design there, right? I mean, product design is, is creative, right? There's an awful lot of creative energy goes into those sort of things, which have a, uh, have a distinct uh, uh, objective too, a commercial objective, but has a visual objective as well, right? It has to be, it has to kind of resonate. So is that art or is that not? It's a visual creation that's, that's for, you know, maybe a little different purpose than an art gallery. So here he is walking away from us and actually, because he is in a gallery, right? Here we are. So where's the art? Where's the design? Does it matter? It's so it's, 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 con it's the context, isn't it? Did you it's take a, that? I took that. You took yeah, that one? Yeah, I took that. <laughs> I took that. The, uh, the, uh, cause the fundamental, I mean, there's, there's, there's size, there's intent, there's, there's context, but the, but visually, they, they, they are creations. I really feel that it's good to 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 recognize when the when creativity creativity is in play, right? So that it doesn't get ignored. So doodling is creative, right? Obviously, and actually doodling in in meetings is essentially you know sort of uh, creativity bubbling up because it's not there in the meeting. So so I say you know notice it, just notice where things are creative. Uh, I, I've spoken a little bit about this before as well right duality right if you like the yin and yang right it's uh there, there are just so many things where there's two ways of of tackling things the the idea that there's there's kind of two modes of doing something you know comes across uh, uh strongly in a lot of work because and, and all these things are related right they're just they're different um, ways of uh, approaching it right and the uh so in, in my own work you know here, here's an example of duality too, right? Because you know, I've used what I would call is line and wash, right? So you've got the kind of defined definition of of, of line with a more ethereal sort of flow of uh, of in this case watercolor. In a lot of art, you find that that there, there's this juxtaposition between two things going on, and it's a it's a nice way of of, of creating, right? So uh, so this idea of duality, I think, sort of has 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 a, has a lot of mileage. Expression which I, which I love, creativity is allowing yourself to make mistakes, and art is knowing which ones to keep. And, and the interesting thing here it, is that he's talking about art after creativity. Now he's using art a little bit specifically as like the technique or the trick or or experience or, the, yeah, or experience and knowledge. Yeah. Right? Art is not just creativity. It involves it involves you know judgment and decisions and such like, mm -hmm. but it comes after the creativity. It does, so yeah. he's got these in the right order. And, right? and what That's I like that. is that he he very clearly states there that creativity is very kinetic. So you know you have to get out there and 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 make some brush strokes and then write write a passage and just write. You know, and yeah. then you can think about how you're going to uh, to form it later, but. Uh, it sounds like it's initially, at least, it's like taking steps rather than worrying too much about what is the result oh, going yes. to be. Oh yeah. yes, yeah. There's, uh, you know, that that to me is the trick. You have to you have to take take the step and then look at what you've got, right? Yeah. That, and 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 we all get it the other way around because it's more comfortable to to do that. But that's that I think is the key, right? So so indeed, skip the normal first step, right? Because we all start our life. Once we got our thoughts together, then we we're, we're organized and we act, right? So don't we don't if you're going to be creative, you don't do that, do you? Right? You've 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 got to just skip that first step of thinking about it, mm -hmm. of worrying about what's going to happen, and just do something. Now now maybe that that thing doesn't actually uh, result in much. Who cares? You're actually getting into a a a, a creative place, right? And then you can think and you can analyze and you can plan, right? You know, because you're already there, right? Into into in, into a creative process, right? So so that fundamental thing of 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 getting out of your normal day-to-day -day way of doing things and just doing things the other way around. 
is is I think a sort of very valuable way. So so if I have any kind of problem, I just think, well, I got to start playing first, right? Before before I'm ever going to even think of what 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 to do about that problem. And of course, the thing I always remember is not how you start; it's how you finish. The the the, the problem is that other you know, that you think other people care. Right, so that you're worried about things at each step of the way. You don't want to do that. What right? you want to do is you just think, well, it's only, only, it's only got to be something at the end. Whatever it looks like in the middle, who cares? Funny little story. Some of you may have heard before. Uh, decades ago, David and I were trying to fit a, a wooden blind in a window. <laughs> and that morning, I, w I really wasn't in the mood to, to fiddle and fuss. And Dave is the quintessential finesser he'll he's the craftsman he'll shave a, you know a 16th of an inch off of something and plane it and but anyways that morning we we found that the blind was ever ever so slightly bigger than the frame the window frame and if, if one sixteenth of an inch would have done it and then dave says well you know i can take the whole pack and i can tape them up and and just you know take the sharpest saw i've got and just saw that end off and then we'll sand a bit and it'll be fine and I just picked up a hammer and I said, to hell with that. And I just hammered the, the, the frame into place and the thing slid in like butter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> the frame was loose. The frame was slightly loose. And I so thought, no. Just, so that was looked it creative. I don't know. <laughs> but it worked. That, but yeah, that, I, that, that brings me to. But it is creative because you thought about the problem a different way. Yes. That is exactly creative. There is some role for limits, if you like. Creativity is not unbounded that if you put some constraints in, it actually helps with creativity. And, and, it's, and it's doubly true in yeah, like So setting some boundaries allows creativity to roam. Now, as an example, I, I recently did a, did a class, right? And I asked students to take an image, divide it with seven lines, and then using different color, and then just use different colors for adjacent segments, right? So what I did is I set up a set of rules, and that's what I got in about 20 minutes, right? So. Just a, a, it's just a mass of creativity because there were limits. I was telling people what they, that the, there were rules they had to follow, right? If I had just said, well, you know, do, 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 a, do a still life for 20 minutes, do you think I would have got much back? So group playing in the sandbox, I think is, is important for teams, right? You know, sort of, I mean, it's typically called brainstorming, right? There are, and it adds structure for group group creativity, right? I did a quick run around some uh, some websites, and I even found one with twenty nine brainstorming <laughs> techniques, right? There, so me, that's brainstorming, brainstorming, right? So they they sat down and they came up with all these these ideas, right? But the thing is that uh, the each one sets limits. It sets limits so that then the team can do something together. Right, that's that's really all they do, right? And and you can do this individually as well. You can set some limits and say, I'm going to do this, right? And then uh, and, and then it works, right? And, and then yeah, you got to keep it real to get something, you know, completed, right? So as early as possible, I always figure out some kind of fallback plan, plan B, if you like, right? And that is, if what I'm doing, all my creative work, if it doesn't work out, what am I going to do, right? If if because it's de-stressing if you've got some That's way true. of falling back, right? Yeah. It might not be what you want to, 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 to achieve, but it's something. Right, and you can tell yourself at, at very minimum, I'll have to learn something. Exactly, you know? yeah. Plan creative projects with sandbox time, right? The, this brainstorming idea, you actually put, put bounds about it, say this, this period, right? You know, whether it's for a team or individually, this I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to have this creative period, right? And, and more of them, the better. Right, you don't want like a big period that's unstructured. You say, well, maybe I'll do this Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, or something. Right? The uh, so 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 actually put that into your into your plans and maximize it. Right, and that's the key. Right, is is figure out what's got what what you what you want to start early, like sandboxing, and what you can wait until later for. Right, within reason, because work expands the field of time available. Everyone knows that. Right. And, and this is key. It's easier to spend time on easy things than create in the sandbox because creation is difficult. So I've, I've done all sorts of projects in all sorts of domains, right? And I tell you, the things that get scheduled the most are the things that people know the most about, 
the things that are big problems don't get put into the plan because no one knows what to do about it. Right. So this idea of, of putting uh, giving time to sandbox for the sandbox time and not and not allowing the, the the details that still need to be done, but not allowing them to expand, I think it, I think is an important one. So just a just a comment from my own ex own experience, right? This is my one of my paintings. So uh, by the time I was I was here painting it on the floor, right? I had it mocked up in the computer. I'd done I'd done paintings in in the same vein beforehand, right? And the risks were relatively low by actually painting it. So I actually only gave myself one week to paint the painting. So there we there there we go. And and there was some creativity even at that stage because. Uh, in the previous slide, there are a few paint pots there, right? So, uh, uh, so I had some red mixed up, which I never used. I never used because I looked at it. I said, "That's what I want. I'm not going to do what I said I would. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do what I see in front of me because that's what I want, right?" So, well, that, so that there is quite kind of happens when, yeah. when 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 you when you've got a very well fleshed out plan. Once you get going and the energy starts working, right. There has to be some margin for for changing exactly. because that's yeah. when your creativity is going to want to take over, and you right. don't want to stifle that. Exactly. So there you are. However beautiful the strategy, you should always occasionally look at the results. Creativity is not just about sort of you know being out there and brainstorming. It's also about sort of assessing things, right? So 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 it's problem solving on a massive scale, and the, and and everything does need some assessment and judgment and and decisions as to what to do next right the problem comes when you start judging too quickly right you gotta you, you gotta give the chat the creativity time to be there and then maturely look at uh, judging things and then 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 things flow right they flow they flow they flow brilliantly right and the only thing i'd say i won't you know go into this in a, in a super big way but the problem with judging is you normally get worried what other people are going to think, what other people, or 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 that you 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 start questioning yourself or something, right? And that's your day to day brain getting in the way. Could that's be the, it could be the the mood you woke up in, right? So so if you if you find that at all, the I think the key is to stop. The key is to stop because you have to stop work and take a stroll once in a while, right? So said uh, Renoir, because. Recharging your batteries is part of the process, mm -hmm. right? I mean, it takes it takes life juice to to be creative, right? It's exhausting. At the end of a studio session, I literally go art blind. I can't see what I've done. I just cannot see it. I think it's 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 terrible. It's rubbish. I'm kind of ready to keel over, right? And and really, recovery is part of the process, right? Any change is good, right? Yeah. And right now I'm doing my taxes. It's funny, right? I mean, you think that that's crazy, but it's different. It's different. It's duality again, right? It's yeah. duality. But but right now it's relaxing to do my taxes, and then when I come back to do something creative, you know, I'm there again. Yeah. So here's a couple of ideas for deciding that you are finished. So I I like looking at things from different perspectives, right? And, and this may be a little bit painting centric but i think the things the same is true for any creative endeavor because if you look at things differently you see things differently so finishing is as much but looking as doing yeah right the uh I mean, music perhaps you know look at sample sections of the score out of order right you know, certainly when i'm writing i look at things from the back forward right i mean i know what the story is so i don't need the story but i do need to look at the words in a different order I mean, you uh, don't have to stick to art as a way of, of uh, refreshing right. and looking at things differently. You can switch over to another love that you have, whether it's music or anything else. Sometimes yeah. I like to just jump around the kitchen and do some dancing while I'm doing the dishes, try yeah. not to break anything. But uh, but it, it really does. It, it It's a rest for the mind. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 And, and perhaps like jumping around the, the, the kitchen, right? Looking at it in comparison with something else. And the great thing is it doesn't matter what you choose. Because it's not that you're making a direct comparison, it's your brain is looking at things a little differently. So here's another couple of tips, right? You know, I, I make a list of things to do, you know, maybe 10, right? And then I only do two or three. 
Eugene Delacroix, I believe, said paintings finish themselves in the corner of the studio. Isn't that a great tip, right? It means you don't have to do anything. It'll, 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 it'll finish itself just by, by being there. Eugene Delacroix also said one has to, to spoil a picture a little bit in order to finish it, right? So when you feel that you're spoiling something, that tells you it's finished, doesn't it? Because yeah, going to my remember. last point, yeah. what you've moved is from finishing to fiddling, yeah. right? So that last brush stroke or that last mark that you make, right, which you can probably erase or, or it, no one is going to notice anyway, that's telling you loud and clear that your painting is finished. Yeah, so, uh, so here's my nine-point plan. All endeavors are creative, right? There's a creative element in there somewhere, right? You know, get cozy with duality, right? Duality is everywhere and it's really useful. Skip the first step. You got to start, then think, right? So it's start, think, start, think, start, think. A little bit bizarrely, setting limits does foster creativity, right? Because it allows, you know, a little bit of a channel, if you like, for that, right? You know, plan for the maximum sandbox time, right? And don't let all the easy things get in the way. I say easy, that doesn't mean they don't take time, right? It's just, you know, how much time they're going to take. If you give them too much time, then, uh, then they'll take it. Uh, get comfortable with judgment in a good way that is not too quick and uh, and and kind of try and access your your feeling a little bit rather than worrying rest and relaxation is all part of the process yeah. that's good news isn't it finish don't fiddle which uh, i was just uh, just talking about and then finally creativity is contagious pass it on